Okay, so what's on the street is saying that J. Prince Senior is asking people to stop blaming him and his family for Takeoff's murder and that of uh, Duke the Jeweler, right? So this has been going crazy on social media, so I decided to report about it because, you know, I think it's a little bit crazy, you know, of what this man is asking for. But at the end of the day, we have to understand that whenever we mention the death of Takeoff and that of Duke, you know, the Prince family's name have to be mentioned, especially J. Prince Jr. Get what I'm saying? But before we get into this, do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Remember, this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is allegedly. Get what I'm saying? But let's jump straight into this. So you've been going crazy, right? Ever since Duke died and take off died, right? So we started hearing more about the Prince family. We started hearing more about J. Prince Jr. mob ties. Because, you know, I don't even know who those homies were before, you know, the death of Jude Duke. And it started getting more crazy after Takeoff also died under their watch. You get what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of negativity has been mentioned when it comes to their name. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, out here in the street, they say that J. Prince Sr. is asking people allegedly to stop blaming him, to stop blaming his family, especially his son, J. Prince Jr. Moptas, for what happened to Duke and what happened to Takeoff. You know, they say that, you know, he said that his son got nothing to do about that or whatever, and his family got nothing to do about that. But this is really creating a lot of controversies on social media because when you look into it, you go and find out that it's really crazy because there's no way on this earth that, you know, you can go on Google right now and Google the cause of, you know, Takeoff's death and that of Juke that you will not see the name of J. Prince Jr. Moptas, that you will not see the name of Moptas or Prince family. You get what I'm saying? So... The name is forever going to be mentioned when it comes to these two young men that died under their watch. That's just the facts. You get what I'm saying? That's just the truth. And if you tell me that they got nothing to do about that, well, we don't have proofs. You get what I'm saying? We don't have proofs. We are not saying they did any of it, but man their name will ever and forever be mentioned especially when it comes to takeoff's death because come to think about it man takeoff died you know under their watch and it was their own private event you get what i'm saying it was their own private event and um they are the one that invited takeoff and quavo to come to houston and takeoff died so i don't know how possible it will be for us to think about the death of Takeoff and not mention the name Prince Family and not mention the name Mob Ties and not mention the name J Prince Jr. and J Prince Senior and not mention the name Mike Prince and Jazz Prince and or whoever, right? Rap a lot. Like it's all over social media, man. Check it out on YouTube. A lot of bloggers are talking about it. You get what I'm saying? A lot of bloggers are talking about it. And it actually sounds crazy because at this point nothing can be done the you know the young men they are dead they are gone for life and the only thing we are asking is justice so i feel like you know when we ask for justice it makes j prince senior feel more uncomfortable you get what i'm saying it makes him feel uncomfortable whenever we ask for justice man that man you know start feeling uncomfortable right away you get what i'm saying so because he feels like okay cool if these people are asking for justice for takeoff or duke you know are they asking that you know one of my sons have to go down for this i mean that's what he's thinking you get what i'm saying and i don't blame him at all because you know when you think about it he's a father you get what i'm saying he's not gonna just sit back and watch his sons go to jail and stuff like that but at the end of the day man there's nothing he can do because the legacy is already being destroyed by his own son you get what i'm saying for getting indicted with 
you know so many of these crazy situations you get what i'm saying so the legacy is already this being destroyed and being terminated so i don't know that you know ever in this life that we can sit back and mention what happened to take off for duke without mentioning j prince junior mob ties or without mentioning mob ties or prince family or whatever you get what i'm saying that's just the truth and uh we don't have proofs because the law enforcement are not done with their investigation you get what i'm saying the investigation is it ongoing and we are praying that the truth comes out because you know the the last person that was arrested which is aka patrick patrick clark right dj pat who is an affiliate to you know affiliate to mob ties and whatever and rap a lot as as well you get what i'm saying he's been arrested and he's been released you know on two million dollar bond and he's still crazy anyways at the end of the day because right now we don't even know you get what i'm saying he didn't accept that he did it but he accepted that he you know he fired some shot when the gunshot was going off and stuff like that so the police actually has some has some footages with them right they have some footages with them that that we don't see we can't see they got it from the security cameras i think from the bowling early so at the end of the day everything comes back to bite who j prince prince family and whatever that's what it is so for j prince to tell us to stop blaming him blaming his family and stuff like that i don't know how possible that can be you get what i'm saying so you know he better think otherwise you get what i'm saying he better starts thinking otherwise because at the end of the day the name is still going to be mentioned and that's how it goes you get what i'm saying but you all tell me what you all think under the comment section man because at the end of the day we just want justice for takeoff initially he told us that he knew who did it and he said that the person that did it is not going to stand around him stand behind him you know or stand near him that was his actual words the day that takeoff died you get what i'm saying he he posted that on social media so we were expecting that okay cool maybe he already had the person that did it is you know mob ties or whatever you get what i'm saying so we we were thinking that okay cool he is not going to tolerate and protect the person you get what i'm saying but at the end of the day allegedly you get what i'm saying like um nothing had ever nothing has ever been the same nothing has ever been the same at the end of the day you get what i'm saying so it's really crazy it's really crazy out here man that's why i say you have to take your own protection on your own hand man don't be trusting all that all those stuff you get what i'm saying quavo is about to drop a new album titled rocket power he said that the album you know is in process and it will be out soon you get what i'm saying he dedicated the album to take off rest in peace to take off and justice for take off you all type down under the comment section but remember this video remains allegedly and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel turn on notification bell so you get notified whenever i drop a new video don't forget to smash the like button as well you get what i'm saying so you know we are waiting for the album we want to see what the album is all about so i hope that he's going to expose a lot of things on the album you get what i'm saying that's all we are praying for we just want justice for takeoff man we can't just be shouting uh, rest in peace to take off and rest in peace to take off all the time yeah take off is already resting but i don't think that he's resting in peace if he ain't getting any justice because he was killed through senseless violence and that's how he goes you get what i'm saying but you all tell me what you all think under the comment section man i will catch you guys on the next clip